family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wife Lady and welcome to my channel. All right, well, we are here today at the Goodwill. We are in New Jersey again. We've got the whole crew here. We've got Andrew, we've got Brandon, who is currently cowering behind the seat. I'm not really sure why. Um, but we are going to head into the Goodwill and see what we can find that we can buy and flip for a profit. I believe Brandon's gonna be behind the camera. That is the plan. He's usually behind the camera. He, he likes to be behind the camera. But he does have a channel of his own, and I will link that down below so you can go check that out. But um, let's go see what we can find. Are you ready, boys? Sure. Yeah. Oh, great. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> they have dollar horses in the case right here, and I'm about to be all over those dollar horses. Watch this. So, the way I understand it, those are Swedish men. Yes. Yes. All uniquely carved individuals. Right? Yes. There's, there's really only one place in Sweden that is still making these dollar horses by hand, and they're fantastic. It's Niels Olsen, and um, I need those horses. But I can't get to them. Can you do me a huge favor? Can you do me a huge favor? Mm. Can you stand over there and get the Niels Olsen horses that are in the case? The Niels The um, Dollar horses. There's two Dollar horses in the case and I can't get their attention. Okay. Hey, look what Andrew found. And look, there's a buffet of carts. Look at this, look at this one. It's a pig with a binky. What more could you ask for when you come to the Goodwill, right? It's kind of adorable. This is not something I would normally buy, but I think I'm gonna make an exception because of this. <laughs> this is someone's piggy bank collection, and I'm here for it. Is this an owl? No, it's a bowling ball, Never mind. Same difference, they look similar, right? <laughs> I said, quick, we're missing this stuff. This is all about quickness. There's no checking the footage. Look at this. You know what's special about this one? <gasps> it's full of baby pigs. What more could you ask for? You can't get their attention either, can you? I already got them. Oh, you got them. <laughs> wow, I'm impressed. <laughs> He's on top of that. <laughs> I knew I could count on Andrew. <laughs> He's like... Give me your attention. Oh, look at this little doctor guy. It's fantastic. I love that he's glazed and not glazed, and I feel like that's the selling point for me. He's kind of neat. I like him. Also, this. It's a little condiment thing. Oh, it's got a crack. Deal breaker. Never mind. Rotives, but they have modern stickers on the bottom. So that is no for me. And I'm not really seeing anything there. Made in Japan luster. Only $4.99 for this set, which is probably a good deal. I'm just really not that committed to sh shipping the whole thing. If I was to buy it, I'd probably buy the best pieces, which are the creamer, sugar, and teapot, and then I would leave all of the pickup saucers, because I'm that person. I'm just checking it over for a maker's mark, and I'm not seeing anything, and this $5.99. So without a maker's mark being $5.99, this squirrel, it's really cool. Look at this. So the only drawback here is that it doesn't have a stopper. You can tell it was supposed to have a stopper because it's ground in here. 
and so that means it would have had a stopper, which is kind of a bummer, but you could probably find a replacement stopper for this. And the fact that it's got all the little glasses with the ships to match, that's kind of cool. $5.99 for the set. I think I'm willing to buy this and find a stopper for it, so. Let's stick it in the cart. I like the pattern on this, but it seems fairly modern, so for only one plate, I don't think so. I don't know if when it says $5.99 for the set, it's talking about all of the little glasses or just like the two. <laughs> juice cups. These are like the same juice cups my mom has. They're vintage, I like them. Yeah. It's a different style mark. It's a bummer that they're broken. Yeah, I know. Leonardo. I'm passing on it because, I don't know, it just doesn't seem all that great. Leonardo. If it's worth $7 million, I'm gonna feel really stupid. So, these on here are interesting. Stoneware piece, but there are no markings on the back or on the front. I mean, in that case, so here's the shell. What's wrong with it? I had a little, there was just nothing. nothing. What did you just do? There's nothing. Nothing? nothing? Yeah, you'll see it later. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm editing, I'll be like, <laughs> what was he doing to that shell? <laughs> Are these worth anything, I wonder? I don't know much about shells. Is it real? I would say no, unless it's fossilized. Because it you just came back from Hawaii and you saw lots of these, right? Yeah. All right. Because <laughs> they turn him around though. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, look. It's a big, nice art glass piece. I kind of like that one. It's a little scary to ship, maybe. I kind of like it though. Only $5. I'll take it for five bucks. I think I'll just maybe cradle it for a moment or two. Andrew seems distracted, so I can't ask him. <laughs> Here's I like those because they have bunnies on them, not because they're old or vintage or anything. This old percolator. This is the Corningware percolator. 
and some of these were actually recalled and if you list them on eBay, the list them won't get booted because the electrics like went bad in them and they would catch on fire. So. The Corningware bueno. Percolator. Ooh, so people are just breaking stuff all over the place today. I like the doll. I can't find. Maybe China. So, it's really crappy. If you look at the mark on the back, it's a German. Yeah. And then there's cups of those little dolls. What are you doing? Hold on. Are we listening to that on the way home? I feel like for four dollars for the set. Or those little cups to go with them. Yeah. I mean, the Starbucks cups sell pretty well. So there's five. If I'm missing one of these for a set of six. But for four dollars. Yeah. I mean, it's it's a nice little espresso cups. That one looks cracked. It's no, a it's a hair. Never mind. Just the hair. False alarm. <laughs> I like my coffee, Harry. Peg Bundy left her shoes. I don't know what that means. She doesn't know who Peggy Bundy is. Oh my god. Alright. All your TV references are lost on me. <laughs> Sorry. That's kind of a cool flower jar. King Arthur flower. I wonder if it's one of those, what do you call the things? That you get from um, premium. Premium. That one of those premium things. Yeah, those. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna break everything that we have in there just because of that. You should look it up. Marshalls. Made in the Philippines. Oh, <laughs> your hand was right there. <laughs> of course, they're Marshalls. Yeah. I'll turn a four dollars into thirty. I mean, I'm here for thirty bucks. Twenty-five, thirty. Here's one sold best offer, fifty-four ninety-nine. Twenty, twenty-four. Yeah. All right. That one didn't even have its lid, and they got seventeen. Cool. Yeah, throw her in there. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's nice advertising for the stuff. I'll see you mm -hmm. cracks or chips. Cool. Good eye. You can tell this has got age. Italian. Yeah, too bad it's not a saucer to go with it. And it's chipped. Put that guy back there, that tumble up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Tumble up, that tumble up. Ooh. It's a tumble up. Oh, it's for uh, your, your nightstand. Yes, yeah. yes. And so when you get thirsty in the middle of the night, pour yourself a glass of water. It does. I like it. I like it a lot. Juicer bottle. That's nightstand. A tumble up. Yeah. Tumble up. I love you to the moon and back. Cute little plastic plate. Yes. That's interesting. I don't know. Like, I want to say maybe that's Japanese, but it could also be Staffordshire. It's got a crack, but usually this stuff is pretty old, so it's expected to have some boo boos. Uh, somebody peeled it. They were looking for a mark, and obviously they left it because it doesn't have a mark. Sometimes the good stuff doesn't have marks on it. I don't know. I'm thinking that could be Staffordshire. I might buy that in. It's only 
$3.99. Why not? I'll look it up later. There's a little chihuahua. <laughs> I thought it was a bat. Oh, is it a bat? No, it's a chihuahua in a sombrero. I don't know. It's pretty poorly done. He is. He kind of looks like a bat. It's okay, though. It's a nice oil. Yeah, I don't know. I think because I grew up by the beach. I was going to grab the guy's <laughs> Yeah. He's like, no, I was all about that. <laughs> Nobody cares about that. We want the guy. <laughs> yeah. Go for the guy. <laughs> Yeah. We could hang that in the back room. I was gonna put it in the booth. That would be oh, cool. All right, cool. If it was an original release poster. poster. Yeah. That would be awesome. You know what movie that's from, right? <laughs> you know what movie that's from, right? No. No? Brandon, you know what movie that's from, right? Uh, yeah, I've seen it a thousand times. I can't remember the name of it. I was just, I just peeked my head up and saw that. That's adorable. So that's what I would pick. Yeah, somebody probably made it and glued it together. But look, there's a hound dog on that. And a little boy playing baseball. That's fantastic. That's my jam. I'm here for it. I'm just gonna stick it right in there. This is the most epic of all of them. It looks like it's probably made in China. But I'm here for the colors, they're really fun. It's like a hard case first. And I like it. I mean, I know it's $9.99, but I feel like I could double my money on that. It's got some bling on there. You like it? You want it? You'll carry it over the shoulder. <laughs> All right then. I just found a very cute little glass figurine. It's right here. It is this little flying pig, and I know who that belongs with. And that figurine is really not as exciting as I thought it was from behind. That one down there. That one. Oh no. Oh no, you've lost your really expensive sunglasses. Let me help you. <laughs> that one. Right there. I said it looks, it may look like I'm not helping, but he has a very systematic way of doing things. And when I try to help, he's You're like, I'm in his way. And he's like, don't, don't touch anything. Don't, don't, leave it alone. And, I, and so I'm like, okay, well, I'll just stand back. I will watch you work and I, it's okay. And so I just stand here and I watch him slave over the paper and the boxes and it's okay. I just look like I'm, I'm not doing anything. That's, that's what's happening right now. People are like, oh, look at her, she's just standing there like, like a diva. But I'm not, really. He's just the box, the box packer. That's his job. Yeah, why don't you hurry up over there? <laughs> he, told, he told me to say it. <laughs> Daggers. You saw it, right? <laughs> Well, that was a fun trip to the Goodwill Art Total Spend. There was $98, I feel as though. How much was it? 98 Okay. I feel like that was pretty good. Yeah, we got some good stuff. I feel like the two dollar horses alone will come close to covering the entire cost of that trip to Goodwill. Those were four ninety nine. Four ninety nine each. each. Yeah, that was that and was. And they've got their good. original stickers on them. Original Nails Olsen stickers, which is fantastic. I would kind of suspected that's what they were. Um, but yeah, th those were great. So spotted them right when we walked into the, in the door and that was just wonderful. Anyway, we are going to get out of here now. We've got a long trip ahead of us. My phone is ringing. Anyway, I will talk to you later. So long. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day. And I've posted a link to that down in the description.